Greetings! My name is Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And welcome back to Thief. We're playing another fan mission today. Not a full fan campaign. I was actually planning on doing one, but then I noticed that this was sort of a prequel to it. Although it came out later, so I was kind of iffy on which one I should do first, but I thought I might as well play it chronologically. Well, in-universe chronologically. So here we are with Feast of Pilgrims, a standalone fan mission for once, which means that, uh, you know, lo uh, getting loot in this will be purely for the sake of, you know, pride, bragging rights, that sort of thing. But to be fair, it mostly was already. I mean, I... have <laughs> Considering I hardly I hardly use the money or the stuff I bought with that money And it certainly was in that other mission where that other campaign where it just kept screwing me on them on the cash But that's a another matter anyways. I've heard well I've heard good things about this, but I've also I also heard good things about death cold embrace, so Not necessarily the positive once again going into this c completely blind so naturally, expert difficulty. Okay. We give thanks for our bodies, for they carry our burdens. We give thanks for our burdens, for they are the forge of sturdy spirit. We give thanks for the forge, which is stoked by our brothers. And we give thanks to the builder, for, uh, by whom we find rest in purpose. The prayer of Saint Rester. Heh, <laughs> Rester. Sounds like a lazy bum. Tonight is the annual feast of Saint Ives, and the Hammerites are observing the eponymous cathedral with an all night sermon from Father Ira. Come this nail with me. Is that Sean Connery? Is that a really. It's a half decent Sean Connery impression. Type stuff, no doubt, inspired by his recent recovery of one of their earliest relics. Let me guess, I'm gonna steal it. The chalice of Restor was found far to the south in a forgotten shrine not far from Shirik. Long ago, it was said to grant St. Restor's boon to any pilgrim who drank of its blessed water, restoring their vitality and enabling them to complete their pious journey. The cup is priceless. Unless you've got a good fence, that is. <laughs> St. Ives houses one of the most impressive libraries in all the city, complete with a restricted section that Ready. contains a reliquary where the artifact is on display. Naturally, this is off limits to the layman, so the place is rigged with an alarm system similar to Craig's Cleft. Hammerites from all around the city will be attending the mass, <laughs> but they'll be drawn to the nave to hear the sermon, so security should hopefully be light. With the massive influx of the builders faithful, triggering the alarm would be ill advised. Intruder! Beware an intruder! I guess I'll have to figure out a way to slip past or disarm it. I only need access to the upper floors, so I'll be taking the thieves' highway. Just have to head north, and I can either loop around from the east or west to gain access to the roof. In addition to the cup, They've also brought back a few old maps pilgrims once used a journey to the tomb of St. Eldon. Nobody knows exactly where the tomb lies, but it's said to house many treasures, so I might as well snag it for a rainy day. It's almost time for mass. I'd better limber up. Alright. Well... It was a decent uh, Sean Connery impression. Uh, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Pretty good, but it kind of... It, it was... the ac They overdid the accent. It's, over, it's not that... Uh, you know, they made it too thick. It sounded almost Russian in parts to the, uh, to the degree, so... Hang on. Alright. So, yeah. I give it a... Maybe six and a half out of ten. Eh, it was all right, but I've heard better. Also, 
Wasn't there a Sean Connery impersonator in Death's Cold Embrace as well? Maybe I'm playing the same character. Which incidentally, so, so plus for this campaign, we're not playing Garrett, which means we don't have to listen to a bad Garrett impression. Just a bad Sean Connery impression. Well, mediocre. Uh, Alright, use the rooftops, make your way to St. Ives Cathedral, and steal the Chalice of Rester. Yeah. Are we gonna meet a man with seven wives on our way? Yeah, we're off on the Thieves Highway again. That... Uh, I mean, in theory, the Thieves Highway is a lot of fun. And yeah, it is. The problem is that there tends to be a lot of climbing in these, which is not exactly the this game's best point. Parkour and such in this is always kind of iffy, at best. Let's see, the Hamrites also recovered valuable pilgrimage maps, which, from what I saw of them, were about as unhelpful as your average the fan mission map. Uh, which may lead to great treasures. Make them yours. The warm nights, so that means plenty of open windows. Get at least 3,500 loot. Oh yeah. And don't kill anyone. And make your way back to hideout, okay? Don't remember if there's any additional objectives besides the don't kill anyone from experts. Alright, let's do this. Any day now. There we go. Alright, started with ugh, 500 k. Why did you bother putting three invisibility potions in the shop when I only have 500, which isn't even enough to buy one? Hang on. Oh shit, didn't mean that. Let me try restarting. Hang on. If I am on normal, 1500. Still not enough to buy all of them. What's the point of having three of them then? Oh, whatever. I don't know, I don't pretend to understand how uh, the logic grinding shops. I don't know. I mean, similar with this. I mean, I had 1500. That's, uh. Yeah, it's. That's like seven of these. Wait, seven. No. Twelve of these. <laughs> oh, blank. Take, a, take something free. Uh. I don't know. Maybe I'll have it up. Ooh, maybe I'll have the opportunity to, to access the shop again later on in the mission. Probably not, but that would be kind of neat. <laughs> Being able to use the money that you have in the mission would be a pretty clever way of getting around the fact that money is worthless in single missions. Uh, what else? What else? Got a rope arrow. Shouldn't need more than that. And if I do need more than that, I'll probably get more than that. Uh, water arrows? It's a Thieves Highway mission, so I probably won't need that many. On the other hand, a gas arrow could be... Blood... Uh, could be bully good here. Hmm... Uh, is, it worth, is, it, is it worth spending all of my cash on it when I could get more utility stuff? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Alright. Let's do this. Time to head out. Indeed. John Connery imposter. <laughs> that nearly ended very poorly immediately. Do I hear mechanical beasts? Nah. Silly. Okay. Might be able to jump across. Take him out. No! You know, if he would, if he actually climbs, I don't know. Maybe he can't climb while he's holding that up. That would actually make a lot of sense. Boom. There we go. First knockout of the mission. Uh, hopefully there's no one else patrolling this way. No, that door doesn't work. And hey, look! 
it's very apparent what so far what doors can actually be used. That's always nice to see. Eh, electronic lights. Hi. Oh. <laughs> I knock him out, and as he's falling to the floor, I eat his cheese in front of him. Well, behind him, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm such a cruel bastard. Actually. The fuck was that? Maybe it was a coincidence, but it was weird how I turned off that light and immediately heard some, like, portcullis or something. The fuck is happening over there? Mm, I don't like this. Oh, nothing ventured, nothing gained! The fuck is that? Yeah. I also don't like walking up slopes like this. Mm. Oh, so easy to just slip back. <sighs> oh shit. Ah, fuck. Fake door. <laughs> uh, flying by the seat of my pants. Already. Oh. I am immune. I am invisible. I am immaterial. I am. Knocking your face in. Uh oh. Uh, I don't have a place to hold put him. Uh. I am a ghost. I am not here. I am immaterial. Ethereal, invisible. What's over there? Nothing. Oh. Nothing at all. <laughs> that could have gone very poorly very quickly. Thank goodness for darkened doorways. Still sounds. And first bit of loot of the day. Those weird looking. What even is that? A vase or something? Kinda looks. Oh, it almost looks like a cup, but it'd be a weird fucking cup. Eh. Shouldn't go in there until I've taken the people out on the balcony. Assume, oh. Or at least check the balcony for people. Pilgrims. Pilgrims feast. <laughs> that means they're going to be roll credits, sort of. All night long. Farewell, sleep. Bloody fanatics. Well, could be worse, eh? You could have that zombie thing Horace complains about. Makes him stagger about or sleepy-eyed. Zombies. It's insomnia, you fool. <laughs> I'm busy. Yeah, I can empathize. To attend to? There's that foreign lunatic on the loose. I haven't had a good night's sleep in years. Of course, sir. Maybe ever. Okay. Oh, look at the guys walking away. All right, now's my chance to strike. Someone behind me? Nope. Nothing at all. Nice. Hi. Man, you look like a weirdo. You look like you're trying to imitate a fucking eagle or something. Oh, whatever. 
I'm not here to critique your fashion. I'm here to rob you blind. Wish I was blind, though. Wouldn't we'll have to see it. <laughs> nice music. Hmm. Short, though. I could easily see that short loop of it getting old very quickly. Alright, that'll that that's a good place to exfiltrate once I'm done here, but first Did you see a door open? Yeah, definitely, but it's far off. I don't think it's in there here. I shouldn't have to worry about it. Get on! Over here! Help! Look. Okay then. Some weird shit's going on somewhere. Maybe that's that foreigner they were talking about. Oh, I can't even stop the music, damn. I have no idea what the fuck this is. It keeps popping up and I still don't know what it is. Um, no, these are all like painted on. I don't think there's anything here. Ah, sweet darkness, my old friend. Nice, my first big loot of the day. Ah, loot back around here. Let's see, I can go out here. Let me take a look, see what's over here before I go the other way. Ooh, what's this? Okay then. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I thought I was just all right. Just a quick in and out job. That's that's one of the things I like about uh, these thieves highway things. It's, it's like a lot of little areas. I think this game really shines in that sort of thing. It's the getting to and from them that's the. Some often a tricky business. Uh. Hi. You're not a guard, I don't think. Ah. Oh, fuck. Come on. <laughs> ah. Yeah, well. Oh, what's that? Alright, now I'm glad I, I got through like that. Otherwise, I might not have found that. That should even the odds a bit. Where the fuck is he? What? Did he stop existing? What? My thoughts exactly. What's that? Who goes? I don't know enough about quantum physics to understand this. Just gotta load and hope it fixes it. Yes, it fixed it. Okay, good. No one knows me. Much obliged. Ooh, the safe key. That probably goes to the safe in here. Yep. Perfecta mundo. Cool, a hundred bucks. So you want to hide some treasure? Yeah. 
Gonna hide some treasure? A decent place to do it. I mean, you really gotta be looking at it from a specific angle. Even if I do this, you really gotta be crouching under here. And even then, if you're too close to it, you can easily miss it. You gotta be crouching and a certain distance away to spot it. Decent hiding place. Could be a bit better, but... Hardly a poor choice. And the added redundancy of the key certainly helps. Hi. Hi. The old man's stash is said to be hidden somewhere in the building. Possibly, uh, probably a false wall somewhere. We got a few nights until they finish clearing the place out and new tenants take over, so don't break anything in a rush. We don't want anyone suspecting something and hiring a guard. Joff came through at the morgue, so I sent the key along as well. That emerald is as good as ours. Heh. Well, you snooze, you lose. Let that be a lesson. Haste may make waste. But it's better than carrying. But fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Pardon me. Been having some issues with the uh, recording. Just making sure it's working properly. Okay. Hmm. That looks potentially possible. Oh yeah, I with the map. For good reason. Look at this. I've got no fucking clue where I am. Where did I even start? Oh, here we go. Start here. Yeah. Who knows? I might be here. Because I did mention something. Didn't it mention... Oh right, I forgot to read Rattleton's contract. Of course. All right. I got a uh, tunnel. I got to be a few jobs you might take a shine into while you're at and about silver smoke tonight. Uh, fir uh, first job comes from some watchwoman. She came in civ clothes, but I know me a copper when I see them. First I thought she was slipping me out, but the job seems legit. She wants us to get some special grape seeds from a local gardener. She don't know where he lives, but she says he grows his shit right here in the city. My, uh, my intuition tells me you should look for a greenhouse. An odd bird, this one. Seems she don't like getting her hands dirty in anything but her garden. Second, gets me a bit of a uh, smuggling job. One of Davidson's insiders in the Western Warehouse was supposed to move some spice through a shipment to Blackbrook, but disappeared with the goods. Yes, that's unfortunate. The spice must flow. The captain don't think he turned coat, but he's missing. He's supposed to have a secret stash not far from the warehouse. Some secluded place. There's a shipping crate waiting for you near the big bay doors. Can't miss it. If you can recover the goods, stash them in there and lock it up with the key from the manager's office. Lastly, heard of these new religious upstarts called the Mechanists? Ah! Unfortunately, yes. They'd say it's some hammer splinter group obsessed with machinery. Word is that one of their bright young inventors, some kid named Karis, made some sort of mechanical eye one could use as a spyglass of sorts. And I know there's someone who might be interested in it, but don't believe such a, uh, such a thing exists. Check that little workshop not far from the St. Eyes and see if the rumor is true. Good luck. Ratson. Alright. Healing grape seeds, healing uh, mechanical eye, and smuggled goods. Okay. Wasn't there this other place I wanted to go? Eh, yeah, whatever. Okay. Okay. Jeez. You cannot see me. I am invincible. I am invisible. I am ethereal. I am. 
sailing to the mantle. Hey, what was that? Don't damn it. Fuck. That was overly bold. Or was it? Maybe it was underly bold. Maybe if you would just mantle the first time, I might have to. Time to. What the fuck? You know, this is a terrible idea. Fuck is through here. Think. Uh, now, jump! Okay, good. Sometimes he just doesn't jump. Uh, damn it! Okay. Okay. Well, I got a bit of cash, so it wasn't really a waste of time. Can't quite get a good look at that guy, but he looked a bit odd to me, didn't he? Eh, oh, whatever. Alright. Now, we save. And then we strike as soon as he turns around. Huh? All quiet now. Indeed. It's All right. Yeah, his head looks slightly odd. Kind of boxy. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I don't know if I, I don't know if I can make it across that gap. It, it looks like I can't it, but maybe if I Yes! This had to do with the old Oh, the sights and sounds of silver smoke. <laughs> oh, that's why it looked odd. He was wearing a bucket on his head. I don't trust sleeping people. They're prone to waking up at inconvenient moments. Some kind of... Alright, some kind of weird party was going on here, apparently. I call it fancy dress, but... I don't think that's what could be called. Well, you know how these pagans are. <laughs> Probably qualifies as fancy dress for them. It's so nice to just be able to tell at a glance which doors you can actually open. That's quality game design. All right. Once I feeling lucky tonight. Once I get a work here, what does that mean? Who's saying that? Oh, oh. It's something unrelated to me, I guess. Okay then. Give me a bit of a fright. Blink. I doubt these are the healing grapes that I 
I need to grab a bit uh, large for grapes, but you never know. What else is nice? Being able to oh, pick a door open without it taking like 12 things. I don't think I actually unconscious or dead or. There we go. Now he is. Now then. Seeds. Oh, these could be healing grapes, though. So. They're bloody tiny. Of course, they just shrunk down the fruit image. Uh. My favorite kind of lazy game design. <laughs> Just resizing the damn icon. It's a, uh, it's not laziness. It's efficiency. <laughs> nice. All right, one down and a bunch of moss arrows. Holy. This is gonna be tough. Here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, hit that. Now, go, 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 go. All these. Oh, yes. I knew from earlier that he'd get stuck on that table, giving me just enough time to hit him before he goes out of range of the moss. Now. Come on. Get. Oh no. That's not good. That's very not good. Uh, what was that noise? This. Okay, that did not help. There we go. Okay. Now that it's darkened, I should be able to creep over to that carpet, take out that candle. This whole place should be darkened. There we go. That gets me a bit more security. All right. Now, grab this guy, place him down somewhere that's dark, there we go. Where the heck are the cues someone walking? Oh, there must be up there. Blimey. Just your imagination. Running away with you. Okay. Moss arrow... Here. To ensure that I can move around this general area without making noise, which means I can take out that lady. Then I should have free reign of the bottom. I wouldn't have worried so much about that, about making noise when taking her out, because I could almost certainly have gotten away with it when it comes to, take, to knocking her out. However, I'm going to worry about accidentally alerting the people off there, or person, since it only sounds, it only sounds like there's one person. you got to think about these things, you know? And I'm trying to conserve less. It's a nasty habit. Dearest Edwin, I'm so delighted that you're coming to visit me in Bone or Bon. 
I'm, I'll be sure to arrange a visit to the Bond City Museum. The place is simply massive and holds all kinds of ancient wonders. Be sure to board a ship directly from Dayport. Do not journey by road. Do not stop in Zurich. Do not collect $200. Travel from there is prohibited until the war is over, and who knows how long that could be. Love, Rina. Or Rina, I don't know. Ooh. Mm. Nothing there now. Nice. Okay, if I can get up there, take out the guard up there, then assuming there's no other guards around here, which doesn't sound like there are anywhere nearby anyways, I should have free reign of this place. Right, where is down? Oh, you bastards. Oh, wait. Okay, flashbot. Never mind. I thought that was a... I thought that, I thought that was just a troll. It was just like a lo big long staircase to nothing. That would have been a tad aggravating. Okay, sounds like he's over there. There was a... Maybe? If I shot a rope arrow onto one of those posts, I could maybe rappel down. That'll be a tricky prospect. Going down on ropes in positions like this is not exactly easy. Okay, so that's a good way to leave this place from. Alright. Mm. Perfect. I nearly got caught, but it means his back is turned to me. It means he's vulnerable. All right. Now that should give me free reign of this whole damn house. Ah, lovely. These all look painted on. I don't think there's any secrets on these, but I might as well check because. No. Okay. Do these count as wood? Wait. Hang on. That's a secret if I've ever seen one. Bet you thought you were so slick. Well, you... Ain't. Oh. There doesn't seem to be anything up here. Damn it. I have it on the windowsills. Shit. Oh, man. But I, but I would have looked really clever if there was anything up here. Oh, well. Ugh. Ow. And said it was just pain. <laughs> oh well, you gotta risk looking silly if you wanna have any chance of looking smart. You know? Well, maybe you don't. Yoink. Ooh, food. And boom. Alright. That. that health I lost is back already. Alright, let's search the rest of the place. Ah, oh, can't steal that. Yoink. Alright, that was a pretty good haul. That was weird. Why can't I... Oh. Right, the stairs are interfering with my jumps. Now then. Yeah, the place for secrets. 
Let's see, anything here? No, darn. I thought that was a bit overly spacious. But apparently it was just regularly spacious. Huh. An odd sort of thrumming sound when I walk over the moss. All right, some pagans. Okay then. Nothing. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. It just strikes me as a as a place that feels like it has a secret somewhere. I don't know. It's just just gives off that vibe, you know? Well, maybe you don't. Where even am I, anyways? Let me look out a window and see if I can place me. Place me. Oh, whatever. Right, let's just go. I think we found all we're likely to find at the moment. <sighs> Well, this isn't precarious in the slightest. Oh, speaking of fucking precarious. Uh, oh no. Okay, I came at slightly wrong angle. Well, if you had jumped, that would have worked. Hey, you know, when, when I press the jump button, and it just doesn't. Oh. Huh? Oh no. That's not good. Hmm. I'm starting to see things. Don't come here. Get some rest. Yeah, go get some rest. Don't walk in here. Let's go. Ah. Thank you for leaving your back exposed like that. You're a pal. Come on, eat. I don't know why I bother putting those out when I'm not even gonna douse fire up ben beneath them. Come to them go, why did they even put those up? Now for the most difficult task in this entire game. Knocking out a sleeping person. I'm not even joking. It's one Well, I'm only slightly exaggerating. Bloody hard. I don't see any secrets in here. No. Oh, I thought this was marble or something. No, it's just regular stone. Elbridge, a traveler's guide to the Great Bridge City. I swear none of these books are actually readable in this game. Maybe I should ditch the beast note and such. Oop, oh, shit. Yeah, don't really need that, or that, hopefully. Be a real dick move if they, if it turned out that key was also the key to a different safe. I would not be best pleased. hear anyone walking through there, but I do hear some snoring, I think. Yeah, definitely. Ooh. 
Oh. I must be near the Hamrite Cathedral. Or some Hamrite place. I don't see any other Hamrite locations marked. Alright, this... I must be somewhere near the Hamrite Cathedral. But where? Ugh. Trying to decipher this map is, is likely to drive me mad. More likely to do that than to provide any useful information. Ooh. Ah, fuck. Man, there's just no water arrows on this mission. Maybe there'll be some in that armory that was mentioned on the map. Obviously painted on. Man, that was blood. Like we're all in this. Oh. Yeah. Alright, yeah, that's definitely the cathedral, but which side of it? Um. Looks like I'm here ish. Yeah, that would explain it. See, I I know that's roughly the shape that it's in. Okay, so I so I must be Um Yeah. I must be like here ish then. I mean, that's the Kokubu residence. That's the soap factory. Where's that armory? Oh yeah, Fort Romero. Opposite side of the map, of course. All right, I'll finish running around this place, looting it. Means that this must be. Wait, no. No, 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 no. <gasps> Hang on. <sighs> okay, I'm lost. Wait, oh right, this must be there, because slight the slight lip, see? Play it. Intersects. Alright. Hm. Guard down there, I wonder if I can get down. Oh, I can get down. I wonder if I can get to the ground. Oh, yep. What's that? Fuck. I'll turn you up soon enough. That was unfortunate. Ooh. Water arrow. Fucking metal. Yeah. Must be one of them grubbers again. Doesn't even look like it's metal. Oh, he must have been walking on that part. Okay. <clears throat> well, this looks like it could be a soap factory. That does not look like a position someone to fall asleep in. Also, you are a very loud snorer. Yoink. All right. What's this? To all employees, it has come to my attention that some of you aren't speaking too kindly about our esteemed lady. Need I remind you that you only work 60 hours a week? <laughs> Or that most of our employees retain their limbs. Some folks in the city would kill for an opportunity to work here. Especially in our little department. So be nice unless you want to be transferred to the factory line. Right. I think they'd be better off transferring to the Hammerites. I doubt they have 60 hour work weeks or people losing their limbs casually. Chan. I've received the delivery of, our, of freshly laid cray eggs but weren't able to work with them yet. 
Though they are young as can be, the eggs are incredibly sturdy. I don't want to break them open with a hammer since what's inside mustn't be damaged. Ask Kakubu if she can find us a diamond drill. That will be perfect to crack the megs open. Oh. Kakubu might have a diamond drill, eh? Ooh. Oink. That could certainly come in handy. Now then, that's... This must be to there, which will be to the Bull Estate. What about the... Hang on. What about that Kakubu residence? <coughs> yeah. Ah, fuck. I want that drill. Or more specifically, I want that those diamonds. like having a big open window like that in your bath. It's like a recipe for disaster. Unless that's exactly what you want. Are you some kind of exhibitionist? Hmm. Well, I doubt you keep a drill in your bath, so... Uh. Anywhere else I can get into here? Or is the diamond drill a red herring? Pro maybe. Maybe it was actually just a, supposed to hint about the eggs instead of the drill? I don't know. Alright. Time to go. Or maybe the dr they already have the drill. Who knows? Anything else in here? Don't like that that I can't pick up these boxes. A bunch of boxes could certainly come in handy on this level, on any level really. All right. There we go. Now what's this? All right. It's what is this? One of these? Unlabeled squares? I guess. Ooh, nice. Or maybe this is part of the soap factory? Ah, fuck. Show your stoke. Bad timing. Okay, how am I going to deal with that guy? An awkward position, there's no real cover here. Except this. Just got to sort of hope that he comes over here. Okay. Here he comes. Yeah. Here we go. But uh, if I had been an instant slower, I'd have gotten caught by him. <laughs> Fastest blackjacker in the West. Uh, all this metal. Aggravating. Yeah, there's definitely still a part of the soap factory, or some factory at the very least. It's 
poo coming out of my loo. A practical guide to sewer maintenance. Okay then. All right. So. Uh, what the fuck? Okay, yeah, I have no fucking idea where I am. Uh, I'm somewhere, I, I guess. And on that note, now seems like a good time to stop for the day. I'm gonna make, you know... Trying to ensure, trying to ensure that my videos don't end up four hours long. <laughs> Or something. I mean, just for one thing, it's an also uh, for one thing, it's easier to edit. For another, I uh, just uh, you know having to talk, having to talk and you know play a game that long tends uh, doesn't exactly do good things, especially considering especially in this heat. Not exactly good for my brain. I tend to I tend to go a bit loopy. In the interest of preventing that, now seems like a good time to stop. So far, this has been pretty fun, and I've been doing uh, I've been doing pretty good as well. Only had to load a, only had to load because of actually getting caught a couple of times, less times than I've had to load for falling to my death, certainly due to weird parkour or climbing mechanics, and I consider that a victory. And I've actually been appropriately using my resources rather than conserving for no good reason. So that's another win. On that note, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. Or Sean Connery, apparently. And, and remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. So long. Suckers.